Hello everyone, welcome to the unplanned way. In this video, we will be showing you the exact itinerary of our trip to Uttarakhand. We covered the Jim Corbett National Park and Rishikesh in this tour. In total, the trip was of 5 nights and 6 days. You can plan your trip following our itinerary. We took this trip in mid-December so the weather was cold but pleasant. We started our trip by taking an early morning flight from Mumbai to Delhi. It was a direct flight of two and a half hours. The flight journey was smooth. We had pre-booked a private taxi from Delhi airport to a hotel at Jim Corbett in Uttarakhand. The drive was long, about seven to eight hours. We reached a hotel late evening. We were quite tired and had an early morning safari the next day so we had dinner at the hotel and went straight to bed. For dinner we had some mushroom gravy with rice which was very satisfying. The morning safari timings are 7 am to 10 am. Most safari drivers will offer a pickup from your hotel. We had a pickup at 6 am as a resort was far from the forest entry gate. Please note that the safari bookings need to be done well in advance before booking your travel ticket. Many times the zones fill up quickly as there is a limit on the number of safari jeeps allowed inside the forest. Jim Corbett National Park is one of the biggest and oldest tiger reserves in India. The jungle has different shades during different seasons. While summers are good for spotting wildlife, winters offer you great scenery and a pleasant climate. Vijrani zone has amazing panoramic views to project the nature in its finest form. The jeep goes through the river and pathways surrounded by lush green trees. It is a calming experience. We stayed at the Darien Resort in Ramnagar near the Jim Corbett National Park. This is the gorgeous morning view from a hotel balcony. The rooms were spacious and clean. Overall, it was a nice stay. I will link the resort in the description box if you wish to check it out. The only thing is, it's quite far inside from the main road, so if you don't have your own vehicle to roam around, then you're stuck at the hotel. A package at the resort included a breakfast buffet. After coming back from safari, we had this fulfilling breakfast. On day 2, we also took another safari ride to the Jirna zone. We took afternoon jeep safari this time in the hope to capture the glimpses of a tiger and sunset together. At the entry point, we spotted an owl followed by a tusker which is wild elephant. The safari timings are 2 pm to 6 pm. Apart from the Royal Bengal tigers, you can also spot wild boar, Asiatic elephants, leopards, and other wild animals at the Jim Corbett National Park. Jirna zone offers beautiful nature views and is full of luscious greenery and dense forest trees. We waited near the river for good 20 minutes hoping to see the tiger. We heard the roaring and calls from monkeys and deers but could not spot the big cat. Jim Corbett National Park has plenty of deers and can be spotted regularly.
we saw the tiger's fresh bug marks as well as tiger's claw marks on a tree. We also saw some foot marks of bear. Since it is the winter time, it gets dark early. We returned back to our hotel. Later, we had this scrumptious dinner and took some well-needed rest. Our day 3 and also the last day at Jim Corbett started with an early morning canter safari to the Tikala Zone. Tikala Zone is the largest core area and is said to be the best zone for tiger sighting although it's pure luck. The morning canter timings are 6am to 11.30am. The climate was freezing cold. The disadvantage of the canter safari is that because of its size, it cannot go through the smaller pathways where the chances of tiger spotting are high. While tiger spotting is pure luck, we truly believe the Jim Corbett National Park has much more to offer. Getting so close to nature and soaking in the fresh air and lush greenery is an unmatched experience altogether. After returning back from the Kala Zone, we checked out of the Darien Resort and took a cab to our next destination. This was also a long drive and a bit hectic too. We reached our hotel in Rishikesh later that evening. Rishikesh is located in the foothills of the Himalayas in northern India and is known as the yoga capital of the world. We stayed at the Deva Retreat and this is the beautiful mountain view from our room. You will get thousands of hotel options here from budget friendly to luxury ones. We had made our reservation online and honestly we were not quite happy with this hotel as the price did not match the room and the resort so choose wisely we started our day by having a fulfilling breakfast buffet at the hotel we booked a scooter for the day you will find many shops that provide scooter rentals Our first spot was Janki Setu. This bridge has three lanes and two wheelers are allowed on this bridge. The sight of Ganga here is really peaceful. You can feel the positive spiritual vibes everywhere in Rishikesh. We spent a bit of time sitting in peace by the holy river Ganga. It was a memorable experience. We then went to the Beatles Ashram also known as Chaurasi Kutia. There is an entry fee of 150 rupees for Indians and 600 rupees for foreigners. The major attractions of the ashram include its stunning dome-shaped construction and amazing graffiti works. The members of the legendary English rock band Beatles had visited Maharishi Mahesh Yogi's ashram, now popularly known as the Beatles Ashram, to learn transcendental meditation. It will take a couple of hours to tour the entire Beatles Ashram. 
Outside Beetle's ashram, we had this local fruit gram full which we didn't quite enjoy. We then stopped by a local shop to have some hot momos with kullar chai. Next, we headed to the most important spot of the day, the Divine Ganga Aarti at Triveni Ghat. When in Rishikesh, you simply cannot miss experiencing the Ganga Aarti or Maha Aarti. It is such a blissful experience. On our way back to our resort, we had South Indian food which was okayish. On our second day at Rishikesh, we started our day by taking blessings of Lord Shiva at the Bhutnath Temple. Bhutnath Temple is famous for its breathtaking architecture and the panoramic landscape site it offers from its topmost floor. Next, we went to the famous Lakshman Jula. This bridge was more crowded compared to the Janki Setu. No vehicles are allowed on this bridge. It is a 450 feet iron suspension bridge over the holy river Ganga at Rishikesh. We then walked towards the Goa beach from Lakshman Jula. It will take about 20 minutes by walk. This beach was surprisingly almost empty. We enjoyed watching the river rafting views from here. We spent quite a few hours here. Last but not the least, we went to the Ram Jula. It was late evening by this time. The Jula was lit and looked stunning. For dinner, we went to a famous restaurant named Chotiwala near Ram Jula. We ordered their thali which is limited and includes a few dishes. The food was decent. If you would like to watch detailed video about each place, please check out the links in the description box. And then it was pack up time. After that refreshing trip, we were ready to go back home. We took a cab from Rishikesh to Delhi and then boarded a flight to Mumbai. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for further notifications. We will see you in our next video soon.